Support for Southwest Stage is provided by the Membrus Region Arts Council in Silver City, New Mexico, offering a folk series, visual arts events, a blues festival, and more. A schedule of upcoming events is available at www.membrusarts.org. And by the Telluride Blues and Brews Festival. The 12th annual festival happens Friday, September 16th through Sunday, September 18th, 2005. It's three days of the finest blues plus a grand tasting featuring 50 microbreweries. More information at TellurideBlues.com. From the heart of the Southwest in Albuquerque, New Mexico, this is Southwest Stages. I'm your host, John Strader. Come on, Pete, let's burn some asses. On this edition of Southwest Stages, we'll travel the Southwest to a couple of the region's best blues festivals. We'll start in southern New Mexico at the 2004 Silver City Blues Festival, and then we'll travel north to the mountains of southern Colorado for the 2002 Telluride Blues and Brews Festival as we take a tour with Richard Johnston. The music called Mississippi Hill Country Blues was nurtured for decades by the likes of R.L. Burnside and Junior Kimbrough. Richard Johnston was an inspired latecomer to the Hill Country Blues Revolution, but once he got the fever, he planted his feet and he never let go. He tours the country in his overalls, singing the praises of Hill Country Stomp to expose the rough and greasy edge of this music to as many people as will listen. He breaks out his homemade cigar box diddly bow and lets the droning groove fly. So tune in as Southwest Stages brings you a heaping helping of Mississippi Hill Country Blues as we feature the best of Richard Johnston. So first, let's head out to Goff Park in Silver City, New Mexico and the 2004 Silver City Blues Festival. This is the saddest damn song I ever heard in my life. It's called Sad Days and Lonely Nights. Hey. 
Thank y'all. That was a Junior Kimbrough song, David Junior Kimbrough. If you're not familiar with that kind of music, go to fatpossum.com when you get home. And do me a favor. Yeah, I'll do that. See, when I was a little boy, I didn't listen to blues. I listened to Doug Kershaw, because I'm half Creole. And my aunts used to dance around, and, and we played Louisiana Man and stuff like that. Then my, my grandpappy got me hooked on Hank Williams. You see how that works? And so uh, now that I'm a blues player, all bona fide and all, I want to let y'all know I'm not ashamed at all of my Hank Williams or my Doug Kershaw. And I will go to a blues festival, and I will play you some redneck music. Are you ready to hear some? Man, this is so cool. You ready? Hell 
line, baby. What you done, done, girl? Made the boy love you. And now you don't want him. Hanging around. Hanging around. It won't be around your home anymore. Well, mama made up my mind. I got to try. I got to try. I got to try, baby, one more time. That's why I'm asking, baby, let me come back home. She told me, no, yeah. No, no, no. No, 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 yeah. You can't come around my home anymore. Well, I know I can find someone to make me feel good again. I can find, find a girl to make me feel good again. Well, all right, baby. this tall I I'm on fire a brown hair girl to make me feel she gonna make me feel make me feel so good make me feel so good and I said well you 
know that's all right, baby, yeah. Oh, she said that's all right, baby, yeah. You know it's all right. This is Mike Coster. I'm the guest interviewer for Southwest Stages and sitting across the table from Richard Johnston, who was here at the Silver City Blues Festival with the Foothill Stompers. Hello. Let me ask you this question to start with. Yeah. Hill Country Blues, Hill Country Blues, Hill Country Blues. Junior Kimbrough plays Hill Country Blues. R.L. Burnside plays Hill Country Blues. Kenny Brown, who's going to be the whole Fat Possum Caravan's rolling in tomorrow, actually. I heard about that. Yeah, yeah. Hill Country Blues. People don't know what Hill Country Blues is, though. Can you tell us? First of all, do you play Hill Country Blues? And secondly, what what, what is Hill Country Blues as opposed to, say, Delta Blues? Okay. Well, what Robert Johnson was to the development of rock and roll and jazz, and many people, if you don't know it, think that Robert Johnson was pretty much the grandfather of American pop music. If you go back and uh, listen to his songs, you find the rudiments of rock and roll and blues, uh, traditional blues. Uh, what, what Robert Johnson is to that genre, Mississippi Fred McDowell is to hip hop. And the best way to describe it is Instead of playing a bunch of chords in a one, four, five pattern uh, with turnarounds and fancy little frills and stuff like that, one guy picked up the guitar and, and basically started playing a physical loop. One He's, chord. One chord, but with with the loop. It's a loop. It's like dun 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 dun, dun, dun. and he just kept going, and he kept going, and then he started singing on top of it, a la hip hop. Mississippi Fred McDowell picked up a guitar and he was the first DJ, basically. And Hill Country Blues could be described, in some senses, as sort of the precursor to hip hop. Mm -hmm. Because what you've got is uh, a droning, hypnotic style of music that doesn't emphasize song chord changes as much as it does sort of a groove that you get into, just very much like you do when you go to a rave and you start dancing. Uh, you're not, you know, you're not waiting for the third verse of Freebird to kick in so you could sing along with it. You're lost in this drumming, droning. Anybody that's uh, felt a voodoo, uh, listen to voodoo drumming or, or Um Kulthum, uh, some of the Arabic music, uh, world music really is in line a lot with this trance music. And I think pretty much hill country music, I mean, it is a very looser form. And, and again, that's what I like about it. Simple is more, less is more. Hill Country is the blues for me because I'm not a fancy guy and I don't hang around fancy people and I really don't want to have much to do with anybody fancy. I like Hill Country music because Hill Country music is very non-pretentious, very stripped down and if you go and see T-Model Ford you will know exactly what I mean and the Fat Possum Caravan comes to your town with Paul Wine Jones and Kenny Brown you're going to get a load of what I'm talking about. They will zap you a brand new beep you know what I'm talking about? I do. That's what I'm talking about. Well, I mean, that's as academic as I can get about it. And you ask me if I play hill country music, and indeed I do. I look at every day like a gift. For me to be able to go out and make the kind of money that I'm making right now, playing this kind of music, representing Chulahoma and Holly Springs and all the folks out there, it's a dream come true. Mm -hmm. And when I get the offers every once in a while to go cross over and be a rock band and all that, and they come along, and a management company say, hey, well, if you did this and did that, and I tell them, hey, look, man, you don't know what it's like to be in the blues world. It's a tough place to make a living, probably the toughest, toughest margin of music out there. Next, smallest, to, next to bluegrass, it probably is. Next to bluegrass, is, yeah. probably one of the smallest margins of music as far as sales. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a damn hard thing to do. And I've been blessed because I've gotten out of that, and I, now I'm making a living. And uh, it's all because of R.L. Burnside and Junior Kimbrough and Randy Burnett and Mississippi Fred McDowell and Hank Williams. Mm -hmm and Doug Kershaw and Doc Boggs that my whole mix came together. My, my brain just formulated around these guys. So, Good luck, buddy. It goes like this.
on, Pete, let's burn some asses. Talking in the kitchen late last night. Yeah, I heard my mama tell my papa. She said, You, you better stop that boy staying out all night long. Better stop that boy staying out all night long. No, 
nothing in the city, baby. I ain't already seen ten miles out of town. Ten miles out of town. Ten miles out of town. I found a seven key. They got a brand new dance. Yeah, it's all up under my skin. You don't need you no red dress, baby. Just a pocket full of gin. There's a little juke joint out, out in the trees. They play them blues that make you crawl on your knees, baby. There's a, a little juke joint all out in the trees. They play them blues that make you crawl on your knees. Try and lay it on, baby, and if you all want to get it on, you won't get it on. I was grandpa going to try and make it last all night long. Oh, want to get it on, baby, say, you want to get it on. Grandpa going to try and make it last all, all night long. All night long. All night long. All night long. Tell my grandpa, oh, yes, I did. Boy, you best stop playing around with me. Cause I remember when you were just 15 years old, boy. Yeah. We both know you couldn't last much longer than a shoe fly then. And if you want to get it all, yeah, you want to get it all. My grandpa says you're gonna have Try it, make it last all night. Yeah, you wanna get it on, yeah. Wanna get it on, she said. Don't have to try it, make it last all, oh, all. Oh. All night long.
Richard Johnston and his Mississippi Hill Country Stomp captured live at the 2004 Silver City Blues Festival held annually on Memorial Day weekend in Silver City, New Mexico. Information, festival dates, and the lineup for this year's Silver City Blues Festival is available at membrisarts.org. Right. I'm your host, John Strader, and you're listening to the yeah, best of Richard Johnston on this edition of Southwest right. Stages. Next, we'll travel north to the 2002 Telluride Blues and Brews Festival, where Richard brought his throbbing groove to the crowd in Telluride's town park. We'll also finish our conversation with Richard and our guest host, Mike Coster, coming up right after this short break. Southwest Stages Radio brings you great live music from venues, concerts, and festivals recorded all over the Southwest. Southwest Stages programming schedule is online at southweststages.org. Southwest Stages would like to thank our broadcast partners, KEOS 89.1 FM in College Station, Texas, KSJC 91.5 FM in Cortez, Colorado, and KUNM 89.9 FM in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Thanks for tuning in to Southwest Stages. I'm Richard Johnston, and I'm here at the Telluride Blues and Brews Festival. Guys like me are just kind of, uh, I don't know, we're like the guys in the Army that hold up the flag. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know if there's that much about me. Time will tell. I'm working real hard. Well, let me, this, this segues into that. First of all, tell me how the record came about. I mean, I get, I get a lot of CDs that, that come across the desk, and they kind of stack up. And I saw yours come across. Someone did a good job sending those things out. And I looked at and I opened it up, and there's Jesse May Hampel, so I immediately had to put it in, of course. Um, how did that record come about, and what is your relationship with Jesse May? You know, it, it's it's quite an honor to have her sing on a record that you put out. Yeah, Jesse May. I was uh, I was going down to Juniors, and I started to meet some people that lived in the area, and I was kind of down on my luck. I didn't I didn't, you know, there were times I didn't have a place to stay. At one point, I was living in this Datsun or Mazda B2200 pickup truck. And uh, this guy named Sherman Cooper said, hey, uh, Richard, you, you know, you can come out and stay on my farm down here in Como. And I was like, well, damn, Sherman, hell, I'm on my way, brother. I need a place to stay. <laughs> hell, I, I mean, you know. And he said, well, you know, I got this old trailer out, out here in the middle of the woods, all full of hornets and daubers and stuff like that. But if you clean it out, you know, we'll run a line out there, get your heater, and you'll be good to go. And it was, man, it was nice to have a place to stay. So I, I took him up on it. Mile down the road, Jesse May Hemphill lives. So here she comes barreling down his driveway in her Cadillac one day. She carries a gun and a dog with her everywhere she goes. Little dog. Little dog. <laughs> Pookie, she calls it. And uh, he's important to the story about how the album came, came, came about. But uh, anyway, I met Jesse May that day. And uh, he he'd played some of her music for me. And I was, I was really taken with her. I thought she was quite a character. And the more I listened to the music, more, you know, at night I'd listen to her music all the time. The more it started to rub off on me. Feeling Good is one of the best albums you can you can find in your life. Mm -hmm. Feeling Good is one of the best albums of all time by Jesse May Hemphill. And uh, and so Jesse May had a stroke, and I, I could play her music pretty good. And so a third time she came over, I said, Jesse May, here, hold this guitar. And she goes, nah, 
I said, no, I'll hold it. And I said, come on, hold it. And she put it in her, and she got her right hand going, but she can't use her left hand. So I said, start playing this one tune. You know, jump, baby, jump. And I played the left hand, and she played the right hand. And that was the first time Jesse May had played guitar since she had her stroke. Mm -hmm. And she got all weepy, and Sherman was like, oh, we're taking pictures and stuff. And we all became like these real, Sherman's weird, Jesse May's strange, I'm really strange. So the three of us <laughs> together were out there together. We were buddies. Yeah. And we hung out at night together. We hung out. Sherman and I always hung out. Just me, I'd go see her. Well, yeah, a year or two goes by, and I start to do all right. I win that competition. I finally got some money to make an album, and I asked Jesse May, I said, hey, why don't you come sing something with me on my album? And she says, you know, I don't want to do no blues. And I said, no, we can do a spiritual. We can do just anything you want to do. And she goes, well, I do have this song that I sing to Pookie to make it go to sleep at night. <laughs> and I said, how's it going? She said, Go to sleepy little baby, mama gonna cook some chicken and gravy. And I said, that's it, that's it, that's it, chicken and gravy. So she said, hush little baby, don't you cry, mama's gonna buy you a tater pie. Hush baby, don't you cry. I went, go to bed little baby, yeah. and I kicked in. Daddy gonna love you till the break of day. And I wrote a couple of verses. Arranged the song, recorded it, gave her a tambourine to play. And it was done. It was in the can. It's in the Smithsonian Institute now. Is it really? Yeah. You know, everything Jesse May records is. So, man, she put her wing around me, brother, hard and heavy when she let me do that. I had no idea the effect it was going to have on my life to have Jesse May on my album. Mm -hmm. But, man, I, I didn't, like I said, I didn't know exactly how deep I'd gotten in the water with all these folks. And now I know there are people out there who probably been listening to this stuff a lot longer than I have. I feel like some fool that, like, tripped over six rocks in a pond and ended up on the other side. And don't even know how I did it. Yeah. But uh, I was willing to live it, and I had no other place to go. So I accept what's, what's happened to me. Now, this is the first time me and John ever played together. I'll tell you what, he's a can-do dude. We got a bunch of can-do people out here today. Because if you're up here and there's all this beauty, y'all can do it. You know what I'm saying? You can do it. I thought I was going to pass out. It was so beautiful when I woke up. We drove in in the nighttime. I woke up and I took a look and I said, oh, hell, Bobby, we're in trouble. Look at this place. Well, that's beauty, Charlie, I'll tell you. Are we all in tune? How are we sounding out there? Everybody having a good time at the Tell You Ride Blues and Brews Festival? I want to thank everybody for having us. This is a cool little song. It's called Cold Black Maddie, and I hope you like the way we do it. music, y'all.
Thanks for tuning in to Southwest Stages. I'm Richard Johnston, and I'm here at the Telluride Blues and Brews Festival. Well, I said, well, I done got a and I, and I can't do the thing that I used to do. I'm an old man.
I'm gonna do a little song because I think it's appropriate and it's all about the great outdoors. It goes a little something like this. run out of time on this edition of Southwest Stages. You've been listening to the best of Richard Johnston, captured live at the 2004 Silver City Blues Festival and the 2002 Telluride Blues and Brews Festival. The lineup, dates, and more information on this year's Telluride Blues and Brews Festival is at TellurideBlues.com. I'd like to thank Richard Johnston for allowing Southwest Stages to record his performances for this broadcast. CDs, tour dates, and more information available at richardjohnston.com. I'd like to take this time to thank some of the people who made this show possible. Thanks to the Mimbris Region Arts Council, 
Faye McCalmont, and the staff of the Silver City Blues Festival, Rob Lydic and Bates RV Rental of Albuquerque, Mesilla Valley Sound, Steve Gumbel, Lynn Gumbel, Bonnie Leftig, and the staff and volunteers of the Telluride Blues and Brews Festival, Rich Weirdis, Peter Dressen, and Shape Sound, Resort Quest International, and special thanks to our guest host, Mike Coster. Southwest Stages would not be possible without the hard work and dedication of our volunteer staff. I'd like to take this time to thank the Southwest Stages crew. Engineer and Operations Manager, Nola Daves Moses. Engineer and Technical Director, Chip Borton. Engineers and Production Crew, Axel Corral and Brandon Kennedy. Audiovisual Specialist, Jim Flynn. Voice work provided by David House. And special thanks to Daphne Strader for all of her help and support. For a schedule of upcoming shows, broadcast times, member stations, or more information, please check out our website at southweststages.org. I'm John Strader, the producer and host of Southwest Stages. Thank you so much for listening. Tune in next week as we hit the road in search of more great live music around the Southwest, right here on Southwest Stages. Support for Southwest Stages comes from the Telluride Blues and Brews Festival. The 12th annual festival happens Friday, September 16th through Sunday, September 18th, 2005. It's three days of the finest blues plus a grand tasting featuring 50 microbreweries. More information at TellurideBlues.com. And by Resort Quest in Telluride, Colorado. Resort Quest Vacation Rentals provides vacation homes and condominium rentals year-round in Telluride and Mountain Village, Colorado. Booking information at resortquest.com or 800-466-3192. Next time on Southwest Stages, we'll take you to the Lensic Performing Arts Center and the Santa Fe Chamber Music Festival for an evening with Ricardo Lemvo and Makina Loca. Get ready to dance as Ricardo and his crazy machine bring their Afro-Cuban rhythms to the airwaves on the next edition of Southwest Stages.